Hello developers, are you struggling with dynamic web page automation or you don't know how to create dynamic domex path for dynamic web pages? If yes, here you can learn complete guide in automation anywhere how easily we can develop without having a knowledge about domex path. Yes, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get first notification to you. Without further delay, let's dive into the topic. Let's understand first what is exactly dynamic web page and how it looks. The dynamic web page is a one. The elements in the web page will change every time. Example the RPA challenge website. So whenever you want to automate RPA challenge website, when you start with a transaction, right? If I click around one, so it will always change your data entry point. So example phone number, it is in the top. If I submit it, when I go to the next transaction, phone number may come in the middle, right? So like this, every properties or elements will change every time or dynamically in any time right this type of the website we will call it as dynamic web page traditional way of automating this kind of website is you have to create your own relative domex path if you are well aware how to create it otherwise you have to rely on whatever the rpa tool will give the domex path or you have to adjust with counter or the unique properties in the domex path but now automation anywhere is having a cool feature called generative recorder. Yes, this particular feature will allow you to use generative AI recorder model that will create a relative X path for your dynamic web pages automatically. You heard it right. Now it's very easy to automate dynamic web page using automation anywhere generative AI recorder how we can utilize, what are all the benefits, everything we can learn in this video. Please don't skip th this video, watch till the end. You will get a good knowledge from this particular video. Quickly, we will see benefits of generative AI recorder. The first one is fallback mechanism. Second, it's very secure. It will not pass any business values or business information to the generative AI model. Only it will pass what is exactly we need in the HTML uh, properties. And it will validate the response from the generative AI model. And it is optional. If you need, you can use it. Otherwise, you can ignore it, this generative AI recorder. And it is traceable citizen developer or professional developer or automation admin. Everyone can see how exactly this generative AI is working in the back end. So let's dive into how we can utilize this particular generative AI recorder in automation anywhere. Before dive into that, we whenever we want to automate a web page, we have to take recorder capture from recorder package. So I'm taking a capture here and we know what is exactly the window name of the RPA challenge. So RPA challenge here we are having and traditionally how we will automate is just click on the capture object and you can consider company name or email for a demo purpose. So let me take company name or a role in a company. Let's take a role in a company. I'm just taking a value role in a company. And here what we will do once it is captured, we will add a set text and here we will add our role. Right. So I'm just adding a developer and you can give some key, right? 100 millisecond delay or something. But if you see the object properties, this is very important for all the RPA developers. The domex path, if you see here, it's not dynamic. And again, it's not a relative X path. It is totally a absolute X path. In RPA challenge, everyone is aware. This particular properties will change in every transaction that we will see later how exactly it will error out and all. But I will keep it as it is whatever we have here, right? Everything I will keep it as it is. So I'm taking a developer and once after the information is setting here, we have to click on submit button. For a demo purpose, let's take only one value. For this time, I'm just submitting. 
great going back here and what we have to do we have to just click on this done so now if i use a loop because here we are having a transaction of 10 items so let me add a loop here and 10 times i'm taking and take this information inside the loop so now we are in the first transaction definitely we are aware the first transaction from the bot will work because there is no change here in the domex path but when it goes to the second transaction it will start checking the same domex path which used for the previous transaction but unfortunately in rpa challenge web page here it is all dynamic so then what will happen so we will get an error let's see what is exactly error we will get it okay so bot is stopped and if you see the error here unable to find text box search criteria did not match yes this is did not match why because we are using absolute x path as well as it is not dynamic in nature right so now how we can fix this using generative ai recorder it's very simple the first thing you have to just delete whatever you have used the recorder let me just delete this and go to the three dot in the right you have to click on this three dots and navigate to advanced setting here in the advanced setting at the last you have an option called recorder unused why it is unused because till now i have not enabled my generative ai recorder so in a each task you have to go and enable wherever it is necessary so now i'm just clicking on this recorder and if you see here we are having native fallback and generative ai based fallback so if you click on the native fallback this is basically provides a fallback for a web application automation using additional object properties from the capture time basically native fallback will have a information of web page dynamic web page uh, in a traditional way if you are taking a 49 or 50 objects here it will take more than that to identify the dynamic web information or if you are using a generative ai fallback this will connect with a generative ai model in the back end and again this is very secure it will not pass any business value to that model only the html information which is available inside your object properties of the automation anyway that's it so this will suggest you some of the uh, web element or it will suggest you the domex path in a proper way when you uh, having any errors in your bot let's see how exactly we can fix this information and all in your current bot okay i'm adding both of this this is the best way to fix your dynamic web page elements so i'm taking a native fallback also i'm taking a generative ai based fallback also and you can set timeout because all this generative ai has to connect with a model if the model is not free at that time or it's in the maintenance or any some technical uh, purpose it may give you the wrong results so you can give a timeout the retrying mechanism will be there in the back end so i'm just taking as it is 15 second just save it so now so we are set so now coming back to your task bot. now what we have to do the same way how we did for uh, our the traditional way right so just take a capture in the recorder package and drag and drop in the browser just select rpa challenge the same way there is no change just you have to take the same information same capture and everything so role in a company i'm taking the same information again role in a company and i will add a same information in the set text also let's see okay great so here what i will do is set text and my information is developer right as a best practice we will add some delay here and we don't need all this information when we are using generative ai recorder so why because it will give you the direct domex path so i will remove all those information which is not required for me i'm just removing everything here so we don't need to do any so we know we don't want to have any confusion on this right so i'm just having only one property here that is again this domex path is not at all standard if you see the id this will change every time that we are aware now 
Correct. So now what we have to do in this case, very simple. So let's add another option called submit. This is also very important, right? So submit and I will just refresh to the first transaction. And here, let me add click activity. And if you see here, this is also not standard, but let's keep it. So now I will just go to the debug and I will start my bot. To use the generative AI recorder, you can directly run the bot, then also it works, but go with the debug when you are developing. That's the very best way to handle any of your Domex paths. So example now, currently I'm in the start, so let me click on the start, so it will go to the round one, and it is trying to capture role in a company. Unfortunately, definitely, this will not give you the proper result, so that bot has to identify alternative Domex path for role in a company. If you see here, so it is telling us, right? So you are using a Domex path, this one, input ID something, and the new Domex path automation anywhere is suggesting is label text role in a company following input. The what we will create manually if you well aware of relative X path. And now what we have to do without having any concern about other technologies, right? Just you have to click here, update value. That's it. You have to just click on update value. I will show you later how exactly it will impact. Okay, now it is going to the second round, right? So let's see what exactly what will do. It is typing in the same role in a company field without having any problem. Again, it is showing, right? So label text role in a company following input. Let me just update the value. And this time I will just stop this bot. Okay, I will go back to my code and let me stop this debug running and if you see here in the second line right because second line was having a problem automatically your bot has identified the domex path and it is updated so let me update the value okay so if you see here in the object property domex path automatically the domex path which is suggested by generative ai is updated here so now if you trigger again let me go back to here and start from the round one because we are having totally 10 rounds right i'm just running so the bot is identified where exactly role in a company is present second identified properly where exactly role in a company the third transaction same so this time it is not using generative ai because already we have updated our domex path by using generative ai technology called gen ai recorder so this is very very easy now to understand and use it your relative x path in your dynamic web page automation I hope you learned something from this particular video. If you like this video, please comment on this video. If you're having any question, please let us know. We will definitely answer on that particular questions. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get first notification to you.